Hello, my name is Andrew Beard. I'm the product manager for Hilti's Heavy Tool segment, and I have the absolute honor to introduce today the world's first cordless breaker. Our TE500 A36 tool gives our customers and contractors the power and performance they've become to rely on and expect from Hilti's corded platform in a cordless battery solution. This tool boasts an industry-leading brushless motor powered by a very high efficiency gearing and ram mechanism, giving it a perfect combination tool to allow it to actually be more powerful than our corded and produce less vibration, actually half the vibration of our corded tools, which is phenomenal in a battery operated platform. However, that's just the tool. The tool is kind of almost half the platform. The big heart of it is gonna be our battery. This just isn't any battery. This is a Hilti 36 volt, nine amp hour battery, which is a industry leading battery. It's powered by the best lithium ion cell technology and construction in the industry and gives a synergy of a system that allows our contractors to have unparalleled reach, which is why this is able to be the world's first cordless breaker. Going over some of the features and benefits of this tool, one application is wide flat chiseling. Our tool, starting from the front back, features a 360 rotatable chisel head. I can switch this to this gear right here and rotate this chisel 360 degrees, allowing me to make sure that my chiseling is done at the most ergonomic positioning. Secondly is this D-handle. Once I lock it in and I actually start using the tool, the D-handle allows me for better grip and hold of the breaker while in use. This D-handle is also the same exact D-handle and same size chuck head as our corded models. That allows it to share the same dustless shrouds and components of our corded tools for our contractors that are already heavily invested in our corded wall breakers. They don't have to change or have any different components. This is an SDS Max, what we call TEY connection end. Again, giving it that hammering force that it is able to require to do the work that you see behind me. Another added feature that we have here that's unique to Hilti is gonna be this button system here. Some contractors, when we first launched this tool, go, what the heck is that? What we told them is how many times do you get a tool in your box and that trigger accidentally pulls, you get to the site, the bag's messed up, your battery's dead, this has been on the whole time driving to your job site. They go, oh yeah, all the dang time. So this is the power button that then allows you to engage it on a secondary system. So you have to push the switch, then pull the trigger, and then this tool stays on for about two minutes, allowing their time to be able to do some work, set the tool down, pick it back up, use it again without having to fool with the power button. Secondly is this little wrench. Hilti is known for having the longest lasting tool, so they say, what the heck do I need my service light indicator for? Well, we don't make tools that last millennia, we make tools that last a good lifetime. Unfortunately, sometimes things break. When the tool has an issue, that light will come on. That light doesn't mean the tool doesn't work anymore. That light means is that you have a full day's worth of work you can do on it and then send me into repair. A lot of contractors and tradesmen hate when they bring a cordless tool out to the field and it's dead, it's not working. The battery was fine, they checked that, but there was something wrong with the tool. Our tool allows them to say, hey, you know what, it's morning time, I'm gonna have an issue at the end of the day next day, but I'll still give you a full day's work. Last but not least is the little hammering mechanism we see here. That's full power. When you push this, that's reduced power. But why would I want reduced power? Tradesmen though, when you're using heavy duty applications that you see behind me, you need the full power. However, bricklayers and tile folks know you need actually reduced power because you don't want to mess up the material behind you or you're trying to salvage some bricks if you're doing a restoration project. So that little hammering mechanism there allows you to be able to choose between the different applications. Finally, and my favorite actually is the simplest one, the lock-on switch. The lock-on switch allows contractors to put the tool on, maneuver it around, use different positions while breaking, without having to hold on to that trigger. Turns off obviously when you reduce the lock on and you're allowed to go. Now, big, big not issue, but a big safety innovation and step up that the industry has introduced has been silica dust. I mentioned earlier the silica dust DRS shrouds share the same as our corded models. 
This is one already set up with that system. However, most silica dust shrouds are connected to what? A vacuum, right? What's the vacuum? Corded or cordless? It's usually corded. What happens when you plug in a cordless tool to a corded vacuum? It's now semi-cordless. That's like, that's like not even a thing. So what we said is let's take it up to the next level and offer our customers a cordless backpack that works for a cordless tool. Now you're fully mobile, you're fully cordless. You can go anywhere on the job site, not have to do the extension cords, not have to have the generators. Now this system is not only a world's first breaker cordless, but it's also a world's first fully Table 1 OSHA compliant breaker system. The contractor can quickly and easily don the backpack. Once they've done that, they can take their hose, connect it to their tool, and do their braking application. This is very simple and easy to use. They can also have a system like you see here with our ready pack trolley where they just leave the vacuum on the trolley and they just roll it up to the site and brake. That's very helpful for guys that have to do many little projects of braking that are throughout this entire project. The vacuum system works best on Max with the VC75 and the tool. It's gonna don it in. And then now when you brake, you can either brake the brick however you like. The concrete, however, you wanna work from the edge in. Many times you'll see a demonstration or the tools with just a simple bolt point. Bolt point is great for braking and chipping. However, that's not the total solution that the TE500A36 can provide. We have bolt points and chisels, but we also have bushings, clay spades, mortars, and ground rod drivers. The TE500A36, with it being a dedicated breaker, allows you to drive ground rods, dig for trenches, dig openings for pipes, do many applications like bushing that you could not get out of a cordless combi hammer. A contractor and a tradesman should be able to do this entire application cutting the cord and not having the generator or extensions or power needs. They can between cutting, sawing, grinding, drilling, and now for the first time ever breaking, actually complete and do this whole area here on a larger scale job site.